Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at exterior angles of polygons. So if you've already seen my video on interior angles, some of this might be slight, uh, would be similar. But let's start off with keywords here. So polygons just means a many-sided shape. So it could be a three-sided shape, four-sided, five, six, seven, eight-sided shape, ten-sided shape. It just means a many-sided shape. And what we're going to have a look at today is exterior angles. So as you probably guessed, exterior means on the outside. However, it's not this angle all the way around the outside. What we have to do is if we take a journey around the shape and we extend the side. So I'll walk around this way, extend it that way. Carry on walking around and just extend the sides like so. Okay, so I've just extended each side slightly. Now, the interior is obviously going to be the angles inside. So I'll just shade those in to show you. These are all going to be inside. So interior angles. And again, if you're unsure about how to work them out, look at my interior video. But in this one, we're going to have a look at the exterior angles, which if we extend the line, they're the angle next to the interior and obviously still on the straight line like so. Okay, so the first fact that you need to know is that all exterior angles always add up to 360, whether the shape's regular or irregular, exterior angles always add up to 360 degrees. And as you probably guessed, because it's on a straight line, interior and the exterior angles, they add together to make 180 degrees. Okay, so that's another fact that we need to know. So let's start working out what the exterior angle actually is. Okay. Now, because this is a regular uh, polygon or pentagon, because it's five sides, because it's regular, it means all the sides are the same, but more importantly, all the angles are the same. So because they're all the same, and because they all add up to 360, I can just quite simply do 360 divided by 5 and work out that the exterior angle there for each of these would be 72 degrees. And because I know that the interior and exterior angles add up to 180, if I wanted to work out the interior angle, I could just do 180 minus the exterior angle, which we just worked out was 72, and I could get it to be 108 degrees. So again, using the exterior angle rule, you could also work out the interior angle. So let's have a look at this one then. This time I have one, two, three, four, five, six sides, which means if I was to extend my lines, I'll do this a bit rough just to quickly show you. As you probably guessed, I'm also going to have six exterior angles. Okay, so again, to work this one out, as they all add up to 360, and because this is a regular, which means they're all the same size, I'm going to do 360 uh, divided by six. Sorry, is it one, two, three, four, five, six? Yep, uh, which should obviously give me 60 degrees. Okay. So again, if I wanted to work out the interior angle, that's the exterior one. If I wanted to work out the interior one, I would just do 180 minus the exterior to get the interior to be 120 degrees. Okay. So again, these questions come up in exams. You'll probably have one of these in one of your um, half-term tests or end-of-year tests, to be fair, coming up. So again, a regular polygon, that's what it'll tell you. Okay, I forgot to put this bit in, but it's key. Because it's regular, just as over here, it means all the angles and sides are the same. So if a regular polygon has 24 sides, I want to know what the interior angle is, and I want to know what the exterior angle is. So because it's regular, I know that all the exterior add up to be the same. I can just do 360 divided by 24, because I'll know there'll be 24 uh, angles because there's 24 sides. And because it's regular, they'll all be the same. So if I work that out, you should get the answer of 15 degrees. So the exterior angle there is 15. Then I can just use this rule here. If the interior and exterior add up to 180, I just do 180 minus 15, which of course will give me 165 degrees. So 165 degrees and 15 degrees, okay? And using the same trick, we can also answer this one. So again, a regular polygon, so all the angles are the same size. A regular polygon has an interior angle of 170 degrees. How many sides does it have? So I can't use this trick because I don't know the exterior angle yet. I say yet because that's what I'm gonna work out first. To work out the exterior angle, 
If I know the interior is 170, I just do 180 minus 170, because using this rule here, they both add up to 180. And that tells me the exterior angle is 10 degrees. And because I know that all of them add up to 360, I'm going to see how many times does the exterior angle go into 360 by doing 360 divided by 10, which obviously gives us 36. So this shape here has 36 sides. So again, by using the interior and exterior rule, you can work out lots of different questions like that one there. Okay, so these ones have all been regular polygons. Let's have a look when it's irregular. So I'll turn the page over. So here's some irregular ones here. So the angles and the sides are a bit different, but the rule is still the same thing. The interior and the exterior set up to 180 and all the exterior angles also add up to 360. So the rules are still exactly the same. So if I've been given this one here as a right angle, which is obviously 90, that's 130. So if I do 90 plus 130, I can get the total of what I've got. Obviously that's zero. That's gonna be 12, carry the one. So I have 220, and then obviously because I know that they all add up to 360, I'll just come down here and do it here. 360 minus 220 will obviously give me 140 degrees. So that angle there would be 140 degrees. So even if they're irregular, the rule that they all add up to 360 is still the same. Same thing here. So I'm gonna add up the ones that I've got. I'll do it here. So I've got 110 plus another 110 plus 85, and obviously I want to work this one out here. So let's add that up, 0, 0, and 5. 1, 1, 8 is obviously 10, so you carry the 1 over, and that. So there we go, 305, and because I know they're all up to 360, 360 take away 305 will give me 55 degrees. So then X will be 55 degrees, okay? This one here, trying to catch you out, be careful, because I've given you angles on all, on all of the uh, sides. However, not all of them are exterior. This one is, this one is, this one isn't. Look, it's inside the shape. So the first thing you have to do is work out what the exterior angle is. So because we know the interior, just like I did on the other page, I just do 180 minus 115, which will give me 65. So this angle here is 65. That one's exterior, that's fine. That one's interior, which is 90, which will obviously mean that this one here will also be a right angle of 90. So be careful. They might give you an interior and try and trip you up. Um, so make sure you do just check they are all exterior. And then you just do the same thing, add them all up. So 63, 100, and, oh no, even I fell for it then. There we go, look. So sorry, 63, 65, 73, and then my 90. So 3 out of 5 is 8, add the 3 is 11, so 1, carry the 1. 1 out of 6 is 7, 13, 29. So 291. Then I can just do my trick of 360 degrees minus what I've got, which will leave me with 69 degrees. So x there is 69 degrees. Okay, so just a few little things that to watch out for and obviously the rules using exterior angles. Hope that helps guys. Cheers.